Hello, 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 everybody. Hi. It's blank. What, what? <laughs> That's because it's Tattoo Tuesday. It's practice session. So I'm going to teach you how to do little things so you can make your paintings that much better. My name is Eve. This is Eve's Creations Paint Party. And welcome to the fam, guys. So let me show you a few things. Of course, we have to give props to you. No. Hoo -hoo. Hey. Hey, little man. What are you doing? Say hi to your fans. <laughs> Say hi, butters. This is a good boy. You never know when he's going to be chiming in. So we got to give him props, right? Props, props, props. Let me show you uh, my handy dandy table going on over here. So same colors every single time we paint. White, yellow, red, blue, and black. I've got all sorts of brushes here. I'll let you know what I'm using it, when I'm using it, practice session. So we might venture out of the norms. And, of course, my Java is in the house. So say hello, hello, hello. If you're painting with me tonight, let me know if anyone's painting with you with me tonight. And, again, this is practice session. So, guys, get yourself out some mixed media paper. Get out an old canvas. Get out a piece of cardboard. It does not matter. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to learn some techniques. That's all there is to it. Easy peasy stuff. No worries. Hello, 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 Donna. How you doing, sweetheart? So, hi, Cindy. What's going on, baby dog? All right, so I'm going to put you guys in your handy-dandy holder, and we're going to get this thing started. So, um, let's do it. Yes. <laughs> hi, Bonnie. Hi, sweetheart. How you doing? Whoops, missed the holder. I missed the holder. Hello, 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 Bonnie. How you doing, sweetheart? Bonnie's in the house. That's right. <laughs> Carolyn's here. Hello, 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 Carolyn. How you doing, lovey doll? What's going on, everybody? You're doing well? You're doing well? Good, 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 Donna. Glad to hear it. Glad you're doing pretty good. All right, so you're on your in your handy-dandy holder now. I am working on a 16 by 20 canvas. 16 this way, 20 straight across. So if you didn't know... This is uh, referenced as landscape view, which is which is a good thing because we're doing a landscape, well, a seascape today, landscape, seascape, whatever. So uh, if anybody, if you if you didn't know that, when you have something um, rectangular and the longer part is going across, oh, I'm glad you're doing great, Bonnie. When the longer part is going across, that means it is a landscape view. And then portrait view is when it's, straight up and down so that's the difference between those two terms um you know sometimes you get a camera and it says flip your camera this way landscape view you're like what are they talking about <laughs> that's what they're talking about and just a reminder all of my videos are kid friendly so i'm gonna have to watch this thing which i already almost had two oopsies <laughs> and you guys watch your comments and we'll be all set always free to watch tips are appreciated of course i don't have the stars working tonight but there is a link for paypal that's there and um after the video i will post um all the payment links i can't post and do the video at the same time all right so hello 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 everybody make sure you say hello 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 if you're painting with us we got painters, well, we got practicers tonight. We've got watchers, people just to hang out and watch. And we got our creepers. Those are the ones that are back there. And you're not saying nothing, but we love you too, so that's fine. Okay. Whew, I think I got that all out. <laughs> We're going to start off with big boy. One inch flat. That's big boy, okay? And uh, I'm going to swirl tap dab them. So I'm going to swirl them in my water, tap it on the side, dab on the paper towel. And when you dab your brush, you want to dab in the shape of your, in the direction of your bristles. And you want it to be wet, but not dripping. Um, another thing I wanted to sh tell you guys, show you guys, this canvas I'm using, you can hear it, right? It's got, I don't know if you can see it. Hi, I don't know if you can see it on camera. Um, might be hard to see, but it has a very rough texture to it. Can you hear that? Um, so when you're working on a canvas, make sure you're just watching for now. You did a, a painting earlier and started another one. Awesome, Cindy. That's great. Hello, hello, hello. There's our other Donna. Other Donna's in the house. We had like three Donna's last time. Oh, Donna. Doreen is hanging out with us today. Hello, Doreen. 
So, um, pay attention to the texture on your canvas. If it's really rough, don't pick that canvas to do something that you're going to have to do details on. All right, because it's going to make it very hard because your paint is going to go in and out of all those little pieces that are sticking up. All right, so if you're going to do a painting that has a lot of details and, and things that are specific shape or size and straight lines, make sure it's a smooth texture or a smoother texture. Howdy, Angie. How you doing, sweetheart? Um, so this is going to be fine for tonight because the rough texture ones are great for landscapes, especially they're great for smushing. If you're going to be doing a painting with a lot of smushing, they're great for that too. Okay. So pay attention. And if you have only rough textured ones, if you get the gesso, G E S S O, uh, it's, um, pretty affordable. You can gesso on top of them and it'll smooth it even, um, smoother okay and if you sand it and do another coat you'll have a really smooth surface so you got to watch out for your surface the painting paper Doreen the painting paper doesn't um see the canvas pads they have texture to them the multimedia paper should not so that should be very smooth for you hello 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 Tina B Tina M is here too so the painting paper just run your fingers over it. If you're feeling it like it, it's rough, then do um, a base coat, either white or gesso, or you can even do a base coat in whatever colors are going to be in your painting. And the more coats you put on it, the smoother it's going to get. Hello, all. Hello, 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 everybody. All right. So I just want to tell you that real quick. Let's start our sunset. Let's start our sunset. Yes. So... Madison is here. Everybody give Madison a warm welcome to the fam. Hello. Hello, hello, lovey. How you doing? All right, big boy. Yellow paint. Yellow, 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 yellow paint. All right, right in the center. Find your center. Oh, let's find our center. The bargain packs um, have very rough canvas. Thank you for that insight, Carolyn. Dawn is being a creeper. Hi, Dawn. Everybody, welcome Dawn with a big, warm hello. So, Dawn, I actually have an in-person uh, party with Dawn. We're going to be painting in person. She booked me for a private party. And... Um, it's going to be awesome. It's uh, for her bridal shower. So it's for her bridal shower. So I'm super ooper duper excited. I just keep grabbing more paint, guys. So when you put yellow on your canvas, um, you make sure that where you're putting the yellow, you're going to go bigger. You're going to go bigger than what you actually want it to be because it gets chewed up really 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 fast okay so you want to make sure you go bigger than what you want it to be so i'm going up in the sky and i'm going down into where my water is going to be okay so you're going to go up into your sky right and then down into where your water is going to be now now i'm going to turn around and i'm going to grab you guys want peach in this sunset or just pinks? Let's do, uh, huh, let's do uh, some peach. Okay, so peach, white. I already have the yellow on my brush. Yellow and red is peach. Okay, I'm going to dab, dab, dab that. Um, it's a little dark. I'm going to add more white. I'm going to add more yellow. Dab, dab, dab. All right, that's about what I want. All right, not over mixed. The brush will mix it on the canvas. And now I am just going back and forth between the yellow and the blank canvas. And you have to do this rather quickly because if your yellow dries, if your yellow dries, you're not going to be able to um, blend. So you got to make sure that you do this rather quickly because if it dries on you, you won't be able to blend the colors. So I'm going into the yellow 
and back out again into the yellow and back out again okay and uh, you can see how my yellow wants to get all eaten up you guys see that you see that right so you got to be careful not to eat up your yellow so I just kerplunked it in all three colors let's see what comes out I didn't pre-mix it I just kerplunked it looks good to me <laughs> So the canvas is actually mixing the colors for me and, um, you know, the brush is doing the work. So try that. Try grabbing just the three colors that make up what you want to paint and just start painting with them. See what happens. Okay. See what happens. All right. That's, uh, it's always good to just try new things right now. Now I am going to, um, grab, um, I'm going to swirl tap dab. That's what I'm going to do. I'm swirl tap dab and big boy. And see how all that yellow I made and how it got all chewed up. It got all chewed up because uh, it, it disappears very, 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 very quickly. So I swirl tap dab my brush. It's nice and damp. And I am going to pull from the center out. Whoop, see that? See that? Got to be careful of that. So I'm going to pull from the center out. And if I get the red on my brush like I just did, I'm going to wipe it off. I'm going to wipe it off because I really just want to soften where this yellow is meeting the peach. And I got a spot. So what am I going to do? I got a spot. Oh, no, we got a spot. Oh, we didn't want it. We wanted that to be all sun. What are we going to do? What we're going to do is we're going to grab white paint. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Yes, it is. And that is actually right where my son is going to go. So actually that works out really well. So, but if you get a spot where you don't want it, right? Okay. Just put white paint over it, let it dry, and then you can paint right over it. All right, guys. So now that I have this white on my brush, I'm going to do the peach again, but only on the outskirts because this all dried already. So I won't be able to blend with it. All right. So the secret to blending is you got to make sure that your paint is still wet. And if you're doing, um, if you're using craft paint, which I know the Allure, you know, they're very affordable. They're only a buck and uh, you get all these different fun colors. So I get it. I get it. I get the, uh, I get the uh, attraction. But I'm letting you know right now, and Tina B knows this lesson, they do not blend well because they're very opaque and they're made, craft paint is made to stick. It's made to stick. It's made to stick to objects. It's made to stick to um, different things. So you're painting with something that you're painting with paint that is made to not move around and not be fluid so i know you think you're getting um you know you're saving a ton of money i'm grabbing white red and red now white and red do a little dab dab and now we're going to go in with the, the pink okay and i just made my peach i made my peach um wet again to be able to add this pink okay so, um, I know you think you're getting a bargain and, and everything's fun and it's only a dollar and whatnot, but if you're going to try to blend, you're going to get yourself frustrated. So my words of wisdom are to spend the money and get yourself, uh, <laughs> I don't want to call craft paint, like, get yourself real acrylic paint. Craft paint is acrylic paint, but I mean, like, real acrylic paint. Because acrylic paint is fluid, and it moves, and it's in motion, and all of that good stuff. So, you want to make sure that you're doing that. Now that I have just red and white, now that I have just red and white, this is my buffer to be able to add blue. Okay? So, if you're doing a sunset... And you want the transition all the way into the blue. You have to make sure that there's a this there's a red and white 
no yellow between your yellow and where you're going to put your blue because if you do not have that you're going to wind up with green in your sky and we don't want green in our sky so i'm grabbing white and i'm grabbing some blue grabbing some blue here okay and now when i go to blend that in i'm not going to get green i'm actually getting this really cool purple how amazing is this right look at this that pretty purple color i'm getting okay now, if you're doing this and it's um, it's not wet enough for you, you can go back and grab the pink colors and put that on there. Now, I didn't clean my brush, so that's how I'm getting um, like the purpley color. I didn't clean my brush. But there was a little yellow over here. There was some yellow. See that little green coming in right there? See that green? That's because there was yellow in that spot. That's what's going to happen if you don't put that buffer. All right. Now, we need it on the Z top. Z top. Z top has to match Z bottom. The top has to match Z bottom. That is the rule. So, now we need some of this on Z top. <laughs> okay. So, we're putting this on top. Ba, 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 da, ba. And I'm just going back and forth, right? Do, 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 do. And uh, since this kind of dried, I'm going to wipe my brush off. I'm going to give it a little swirl tap dab. I'm going to give it a little swirl tap dab going on. And I'm going to grab those pink colors again, white and red. And I'm going to go where that hard line is because this dried. I couldn't do nothing with it. It was going nowhere. So I'm grabbing the other color again. And I'm just going to put it back on. And into the, the blue and into my area. And that will soften it right out. See you guys? So um, I did a how-to on blending. I did do a how-to on blending. Um, what, can I, what can I tell you today about blending? Um, number one. Paint has to be wet. If paint's not wet, you're not going to blend nothing. <laughs> you're not going to blend a thing if your paint isn't wet, number one. Number two, the type of paint you're using, all right? If you're using heavy body, which is really thick, craft paint, um, which is a whole other animal, sometimes it's the paint that you're using. It's not actually you. Um, number three, if your paint dries... You can just grab the color you're trying to blend into and re-put that on. And you blend going into this and into this. So you just take your brush between the, the two colors and you just go back and forth and um, it'll blend out nicely. Interesting fact, reading the back ingredients of Easter chocolate. <laughs> yes, those are the colors that make brown, Carolyn. Yep. Ah, cheers. So, um, also, another trick you can do is you can swirl tap dab your brush and um, keep it on the moist side, right? So, don't dab, see how it's shiny? Don't dab all the water out of it. And if it's almost dry, not really dry, you can take this damp brush and go over your blends. And that'll soften them too. So all those little truck trucks, ah, ah, all those little tricks of being able to blend your colors. All right. So I'll give you all a chance to catch up mustard. If you're catch up mustering, I'm going to do some roll call and we're going to turn around and I'm going to um, show you the next step of adding our sky and watercolors. And then, and then we're going to move on to our other stuff, whatever that's going to be. This is Friday's painting. I've done oceans before. I've done how-to oceans. I've done how-to waters. Uh, but I figured a little review and how to get these sunset colors um, would be good for everybody to get ready for Friday. What, what? Oh, yeah very 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 excited and I'm actually working on three paintings at once right now 
So, you will see the future events. <laughs> yes, you will see the future events pop up because I'm working on like three different paintings right now. And um, I know I've been slacking, so I have to unslack. And uh, cheers, everybody. Hello, 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 Valerie. How you doing, sweetheart? Everybody give a warm Eve's Creations welcome to Valerie. Speaking of which, roll call. We got Dawn, Madison, Donna, Cindy, Bonnie, Carolyn, Diane, Donna, Doreen, Angie, Tina B, Tina M, and Valerie is here. <laughs> Valerie's doing all right. Okay, so next thing I want to do is I want to turn around and put where my son is. Now, can you put your son right in the center? Yeah, you can. You, yes, and I didn't deal with this yet. I will deal with it. I promise you. <laughs> um, but. Nice, Bonnie. Get, selling those paintings. I did my show on Saturday. I did very well. I think I sold uh, like three or four paintings. So I'm super duper excited about that. <coughs> Do you have to put your son in the middle? No, and as a matter of fact, if you notice, I have like more pinks over here and over here is more yellows. So I'm actually, everybody always, you know, you don't have to put your sun right in the center. So we're going to do this with the sun over on this side. Now, if you're going to be using this for Friday, put your sun in the middle because the sun is in, no, actually the sun's not in the middle. Ha <laughs> ha. The sun is off to the side. See that? See, it's only one hand here and a whole bunch of canvas there. So if you're going to be using this for Friday, you want your sun to the side on that one anyway. All right. Just real tap dab and big boy. Remember the spin move? Show me the money, right? So do this with your fingers. Put your brush in there. Spin. All right. So I'm grabbing just white paint. Just white paint. And we're going to make, we're going to pick where our horizon is. Oh, in the middle of my canvas. Find my center. And I'm going to come over here to the side. And I am going to do my half circle by spinning my brush. Okay. And if you could turn around and you could, if you don't know how to spin your brush yet, you can just move your hand. and See, it's very hard because I know how to spin my brush. But you can just move your hand and do that too. I sort of. <laughs> All right. And then you're going to make this full circle. Remember that trick that we did? Remember that trick we did to get the moon um, with the mermaids to get the uh, moon reflection the right size? So you're going to do a full circle. And then where your horizon line is, you're going to cut this and zigzag zoom. You're going to zigzag zoom this. And this way... This way, this way, I can't talk tonight. Um, this way, you have your direct reflection being the proper size for your sun. Okay? So there you go. There is the Z sun. All right. So we got to let that dry. As we're waiting for that to dry, I'm going to wipe the white paint off of my brush. And I'm going to grab my yellow. I'm going to grab my yellow. And I'm going to come in here. And I'm going to fix this spot. But bam <laughs> Spot's gone. And I'm also going to take my yellow. Since it's a very see-through color. And I want this to be warm. And uh, very sunny. Um, I'm going to turn around with my see-through yellow. Another thing that won't happen with the other paint um, because those are more opaque, meaning that they have, um, they're less transparent. So um, you don't put it on and you can see what's behind it. You put it on and it blocks out everything, which is good for some stuff, but not this. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my yellow and I'm gonna come around here and I'm gonna be careful not to get too happy 
and wind up going into my blue areas, but I'm grabbing just yellow paint and I'm going back and forth and I'm softening those blends even more so and adding that golden color. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that pretty? I love it. I like it a lot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like it a lot. I have to grab more yellow paint. Okay. So, um, now that's up to you. Some of you might not want that. I like it. I think it's cool. I think that that glow, that orangey yellow glow is really pretty. Now, if you want to keep your pinks, if you like your pinks, then don't do it. It's your painting. It's your world. Do what makes you happy. Okay, so I am going to do all of this around here. Again, I'm going to be careful not to go into my blue areas because then I'm going to wind up with some greens. Do you guys want to see clouds? Tell me now. Do you want me to do uh, clouds or not? Gotta let me know. It's up to you. It's it's your uh, it's your instruction. It's it's your practice session. So if you want to see me do, Bonnie says yes. Bonnie would like to see clouds. Okay, I can do it. I got you, girl. All right. Now that this is dry. Hi, Cassie. Cassie's new to the fam. Everybody, give Cassie a warm East Creations paint party family welcome. Hello, sweetheart. Valerie says yes. Cassie says yes. Bonnie says yes. I guess I'm doing clouds. Ha <laughs> ha. Got you. All right. Yellow paint. Now that this is dry, I can go right over this. I can go right over that. <laughs> and uh, we're going to get our sun. We're going to get our sun, and then I'm going to grab um, some more white paint, just a microscopic amount of white, and I'm going to dab it off so there's even less paint, very little paint, and I'm going to come in here, and I'm just going to put it in again, but it's going to pick up that yellow, and it's going to do all this fun, amazing stuff for us. Okay, so... Just a microscopic amount of white. Make this a little more um, noticeable. Noticeable. And a little bit more white. Dabbing off my brush. And I'm going to put the do 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 back in. Okay. Shoop. Shoop. Just like that. Nice and soft. And then I'm going to wipe all the color off of my brush. Wiping all the color off. And I'm just going to brush towards this. Scrub that out. Brush towards this and soften it up. Okay. You guys want to see clouds? Got you. All right. So, uh, sunset cloud. Mmm. This coffee's delicious, just to let you know. Okay, so, Sunset Cloud, um, we're going to start off with Fluffy, a fluffy brush. Da, 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 da. We got a fluffy brush in the house. Actually, I want to grab, um, I want to grab a uh, medium fluffy. Uh, medium fluffy! I got to grab a medium fluffy. I want to grab a medium fluffy because I have a tendency to, um, have fun with my clouds and then all of a sudden my whole sky is a cloud <laughs> love the sun thank you Bonnie so I'm grabbing a medium fluffy and I'm gonna smash 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 and I'm gonna get the brush all nice and fluffy all right and I'm gonna grab a uh, white paint very small amount of white and I'm gonna smash it off so it's even less white and let's do a cloud right here. Okay, so I'm holding my brush back here. Very light touch. And I'm just swirling this in. And spreading it around. Okay, white paint. Dab it off. Come back in here. Very light touch. Swirling this around. Right, white paint. Dab it off. Back in here. 
swirling it around. Now, some of you guys make clouds and you have a tendency to make it into a square. So I do the same thing, white paint, dab it off. So you wanna make sure that you're kinda of going up and down in different directions. You don't wanna turn around and have a, uh, I just did it as a matter of fact. I just made a painting and I've got a square cloud in it. So. I, I don't know what it is with our brains that we tend to do that, but that's what happens. Okay, so white paint, dabbing it off. I'm gonna put a few smushes right here, like that. White paint, dabbing it off. And um, so what you wanna do um, is, if you notice, it's very little paint. And I am literally just moving this around in a circular motion. That is all I'm doing. And, um, since the yellow is still kind of wet, that yellow I put on before, it's picking up. Hello, Lisa V. It's picking up that yellow, which is actually kind of cool. It saves me some work. Okay, so white paint, dab it off. And let's put another little piece right here. Good thing I used a medium brush. Could you imagine how big this cloud would be if I did a big brush? And now there's, there's no paint. Look, there's no paint left on this brush. And I'm just going to come back in and do little pieces of swirling and softening. And because clouds are soft, say it with me, clouds are soft. I have a how-to clouds out there that is out there. Um, it's like the second video on my YouTube channel. So if you scroll all the way down all my videos, you'll find the how-to clouds. I talk a lot before I actually start getting into doing the clouds. So just fast forward me. <laughs> it was one of my first videos. So I was like, um, I try to start with, an, with me painting a lot faster now. All right, so now what am I gonna do? My brush is pretty much empty. I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna grab, um, this is dry. And I'm gonna grab just the white again. Dab, dab, dab. And now I'm going to pick some spots where I want the, um, the white to be. So I want to swoop here. Okay. And I want to swoop here. Right. And then I want to swoop here. Okay. And there's no more paint left. So I'm going to smash up my brush again, get all the globs off of them. And I'm very simply going to go where I put those swoops. And I'm going to soften them out. I'm going to soften them out just like that. Okay, so. Thank you so much, Bonnie. She says she loves my YouTube videos. You love all my work. You're amazing. I love you. <laughs> you're awesome, Bonnie. I'm so glad you're part of our fam. Okay, so again, white paint. And I'm just swooping in where I want the brighter spots to be on my cloud. Okay, so maybe one's here. Maybe one lives right there. Very light touch, very little paint, very soft. Okay, and uh, you guys got this. You can do this. I know you can do this. You just have to know how, and I'm showing you how. Okay, very, very little paint. That is the key. And now I'm going to soften all of this out. Yes, I am. Yes. We're going to soften all of that out. And ta-da, we have a cloud. And now I'm gonna grab some yellow. Microscopic amount of yellow, very little yellow. Dab it off. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna add some pops of yellow into my cloud. They look like cotton candy, right? These clouds are like the funnest clouds to do. Again, very little yellow paint. I'm going to come in here, and the sun's going to be hitting this guy, and he's going to be hitting this guy, and soft, 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 very little paint, just doing my circular motions again, and there you have a sunset cloud. There it is. Whoop, there it is. Yep, 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 there it is. You guys got this. I know you do. 
All right, so we can play with this guy all day long. I can, I will, because they're fun, but I'm not going to, because this is supposed to be about the ocean. <laughs> Getting us back on point. We're supposed to be about the ocean. Okay, so since my sun is here and I don't have a lot of yellow right here, I'm going to add um, more yellow in there. All right, so I'm going to take, um, and I can use my fluffy brush. It's fine. So I'm going to take um, my fluffy brush and some yellow and a, a microscopic amount of white, and we're going to come in here and I'm going to add some more yellow into this area here just because it'll be on that side too and very 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 little paint you hear me scrubbing that's because I have hardly any paint on my brush I'm gonna grab some more yellow dab 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 and we're gonna add some more yellow right in here okay so now now to do um oh we got to put our land in all right so time for um beach we need a beach and like um bonnie said before to make brown you're basically just mixing all of your colors together so i'm going to swirl tap that big boy and i'm going to grab uh i got the red and white in here so i'm going to grab that i'm going to add yellow to it and i'm going to grab a little bit of blue tiny little smidge of blue i'm going to scoop that all up I'm going to come over here and mix it. And if it's coming out purple, you grab some more yellow. If it's coming out um, green, grab some more red. And we have, doo -doo -doo. I don't know, this is like a mauve, like a mauvey green. I'm kind of liking it though. Maybe a smidge more red. But this is kind of like a, I don't know, I'm liking this color. It's like a pinky, almost pinky, grayishy kind of color so I'm gonna go with that because <laughs> I like it <laughs> and I didn't over mix it so we're gonna get these little separations of color in there and I'm kind of digging that so you're just gonna line this up you're gonna line this up with the water line that you have that's all. And if you notice, I'm just zigzag zooming. I'm not doing anything special. And of course, in true E fashion, I didn't mix enough paint. So I'm going to have to grab um, what I do. The white and the blue and the red and the yellow. And I'm going to smash it all up. Let's see what we get. I need more red. I need more yellow. Let's see what we get. And some more white. So, do, 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 and more red. Okay, let's see if I mix this close to the original that I had. Oh, yeah, it's a little darker, but spot on. Boy, see, I'm good. I'm <laughs> feeling myself right now. But you guys, um, when you mix color, just mix a lot of it for yourself because... Um, if you run out and you try to match it up, you're not going to be able to, it's just not going to happen. So make sure when you mix your colors that you wind up getting it, um, make sure you just make a lot of it. Okay. So, and I am liking this and I want to turn around and I'm going to add a little bit of red to my brush. And I'm going to come over here. The sun's here. So I'm going to add a little bit of red to my brush to give it like a little peach kiss. A little, a little, I don't know, pinky, purple, something. I don't know what this color is, but I like it. I like it a lot. We're going to give it a little kiss. A little kiss of that peachy, some, pinky, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Uh, thanks, Doreen. Yes, I like likes. I like you guys are all like hyper focused on me because no one's talking, which is kind of cool. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to make a dark line here, right? Because the water is going to create a shadow. 
So I'm going to grab my big boys. They're still dirty. And I'm going to grab that uh, color that I made the sand. And I'm going to add a microscopic amount of black to it. And I'm going to zigzag zoom right on the top of this landline. I'm going to zigzag zoom right on the top. Okay? Because I want there to be darker areas. Also, when the water comes in, it's going to have like those little um, puddles, right? So I want to turn around and add some darker color where those puddles may be. Okay, so microscopic amount of black, and we're going to zigzag zoom. Zigzag zoom. Ziggy zaggy zoom. <laughs> you guys notice on Tuesdays I wind up singing because there's no music. <laughs> you poor ear, your poor ears. <laughs> And I'm softening, and I'm softening, okay, and I have just where that red was, we're going to ziggy zaggy zoom, and I'm going to soften, and now we have the shadow part, and I'm going to make a bigger shadow piece right here, because that's where one of those puddles is going to come in, alright, just like that. Yes, <laughs> just like that. And I have to do another detail to this cloud. It's really bothering me. So I'm going to grab my um, my medium fluffy brush again while you guys are catch up mustering with your beach. And I'm going to grab my fluffy brush again. And I'm going to grab just a microscopic amount of white paint. And then I'm going to pop in some brighter pieces in here because I kind of lost them when I added the yellow, which the yellow is important too. I'm doing here, there, not everywhere because I don't want to lose all that yellow, but I kind of lost the, um, the little pop of brightness when I added the yellow. So I just want to add that back in and very light touch, little bit of paint, here, there, not everywhere, because I do not want to lose that yellow being in my cloud. See, no paint. There's hardly any paint on this thing. <laughs> right? Love the colors. I know, right? This is, this is, uh, these are a lot of fun to do. And um, it's something you can relax, and you don't have to worry about having anything particularly one way or another. Um, so you can very easily just relax doing these. You don't have to worry about lines. You don't have to worry about anything being a certain way. And you can turn around and um, just have fun with it. Swoopy doopy. Yes, we're swooping. I'm swooping. Very light, soft swoops, but it is swooping. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do. And um, I'm going to turn around and put the water in, right? By the time, yeah, yeah like Eve, let's get to the ocean already, right? <laughs> this was a how-to on the ocean. <laughs> I'm just having fun with everything else. <laughs> I'm having fun with everything else that's going on. All right, I'm going to swirl tap that big boy. I'm going to swirl tap that big boy. And we're going to go in and we got to add um, a horizon line. Right, so here was my line from before. So I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna grab, um, I'm gonna grab some red paint, the smallest amount of red paint ever. Okay, and I'm gonna come in here on the dark side, going to the dark side. I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna line this up whoop, over this way. And I'm just going to cut in very little paint. See how thin my brush is, holding it completely perpendicular. Perpendicular. That's a word. To my canvas. And I'm going to just, now I'm just softening. I'm just softening. Okay. And I have to clean my brush better because there's still the beach color in there. All right. Now I'm going to grab my yellow. And I'm going to start in with the red here, so pick some of it up. And I'm going to come across with that softer shade. Okay, 
and soften. Alrighty, shoop, right across. So, very, very little paint, very damp brush, slightly there, hardly there, line, and I'm going to grab some more. Oh, I know why I'm getting the beach color. All right, lesson learned. So, I dad, this side is where I kerplunked to make the beach color. So, I have that, see that? That's in my red. So, I want to grab from the other side. So pay attention to what's on your brush and where you're grabbing paint from because you're going to paint with it. And I got some of the beach color in there. <laughs> Good thing it was on the dark side. All right, now this should be better. I'm going to put a little line in here. Yep, much better. Just a little line. Oh, you guys can see that. Oop, earthquake. I'm going to put a little line over here. Just a little line. And I want to soften it. Make sure your finger's clean, too. And we're just going to soften it out. All right. So, that being said, now we got that in. And I have a little extra paint on here, so I'm just going to sweep it in here real quick. Just for ha-ha's. Okay. And I'm going to... Good night, Cindy. Thanks for coming on with us. So I'm going to actually make all of my, my watercolors back to being wet again. So I'm going to grab the yellow, and I'm going to grab the red, and I'm not going to grab any white. I'm just grabbing yellow and red, very little paint, and I'm going to come in here, and I'm just going to sweep these colors back in. Because when I add the waves, I want to turn around and pick up some of these colors. So I'm grabbing the red and the yellow. And I'm just sweeping these back in. Now I'm going to grab just yellow. And I want to get this all wet again. I want to get this all wet again. So I can turn around and when I add the white... It's going to pick up these colors. Okay. All right. So, large fluffy. Do, 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 do. Where's my large fluffy at? I got one here somewhere. I do. I do. I know I do. Or maybe I don't. All right. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Cutting through. Cutting through. All right. Where's Large Fluffy at? There he is. Got it. <laughs> okay. So, Large Fluffy. Drill tap dab. Smooshing them. Nice and fluffy. Clean white paint. Dab, dab, dab. Dab on the side. Ready? Holding back here. We're going to do our flux, guys. Time for flux. Okay. So, I don't want to lose this. This is cool. So, I'm going to go right on top of it. And just like the cloud, I'm swirling. Now, remember when I said I want these to pick up the colors? And I put the colors in. Hi, I put the colors in again. See how the white is picking up those colors? See that? That is golden. That's what we want. Doreen's got to run too. Bye, Doreen. Thank you for joining us. See you soon. Have a great night. Okay, so that's what we want. We want it to pick up. Those colors. And again, you don't want to turn around and go in a straight line. You want to go up. You want to go down. You want to move it all around. Okay? So you don't want to go in a straight line. No, 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 no. No straight lines. Okay? And up and down and all around. And it's the same. So now there's hardly any paint on my brush. I'm going to come in. And I'm just going to pull this around to soften this all out. Going up and down and all around and all that happy stuff. Okay, and we're going to soften that all out. Pick up some more of that yellow that's going on. And there we go. Now, now I'm going to switch to my smaller brush because as you get further and further away, 
your waves are going to be smaller and smaller. Okay, so I'm going to switch to my medium fluffy brush now. Swirl, tap, dab, same thing, grabbing white paint, giving it a little smush, smush, and we're going to come in here and we're going to do a smaller wave. Okay, re small, 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 Eve, small, keep it small. <laughs> oh, we're going to try to keep it small. Okay, so we're going to do a smaller wave that's maybe right behind that one. Okay, with a little splash up going on and maybe put a little guy over here on this side put a little guy over here on this side all right ups and downs and all arounds and do a little bit every time I leave I'm grabbing some more paint because it's very small amount of paint okay if you learn anything today small amount of paint and lots of swooping and swirling and soft, 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 soft. And make sure that your paint is wet so it could pick up all the colors and do the work for you. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab uh, Mini Me. And Mini Me is a small flat shader brush. I call him Mini Me because he looks just like Big Boy, except he's tiny. See, so I'm going to grab him. I'm going to grab some uh, white paint and I'm going to come back in here. Doop. I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to turn around and add these tiny, tiny, tiny little guys. Just little fun stuff happening in the background. I don't know what's happening. It's just this fun little dude. He's hanging out, making his mark on the world. <laughs> and maybe we'll make another one right um right in here right in here okay let's do another one right in there just another little splashy splash and i'm pulling it out on the sides here okay and you don't have to make it straight lines there's straight line you know the ocean doesn't go in straight lines it's got ups and downs and zigs and zags just like life right so we got another little wave happening back in there and we have one right here and let's let's switch to the tiny brush we're gonna now everybody you can you know you can start with the smaller ones and work your way up or do the bigger ones and work your way back it's really just personal preference I got the tiny brush now and I'm gonna add a couple little like all the way in the distance and I'm just gonna smush that with my finger I'm just going to smush that with my finger so it's there, but it's not really there. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little couple little tiny, 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 tiny ones. Maybe one's living back there. Okay, and then over here, doo -doo, maybe one's living back here on my horizon line. Okay, just a little something, something. And I'm just kind of moving it around and I'm bringing the sides down and some puff in the center. All right, so the next thing you want to do is underneath your fluffers. Ha <laughs> ha, hello, 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 Gloria. Underneath your fluffers. There's the new charm for us. <laughs> you got to put a shadow, okay? So you got to put a shadow. So underneath the fluffers, we got to put a shadow. So I'm going to grab that red and yellow again that I grabbed before, and I'm going to do this with Mini Me so I don't get so excited. So I'm going to swirl top that Mini Me. I'm going to grab that yellow and that red from the side that wasn't with the beach. A lot, a lot of yellow. So I get this, like, dark golden yellowy color. You see that? Need a little more yellow. Okay, so I'm going to swirl, squish my brush, get all the paint out of it. Do a little wipey wipe. Zigzag zoom time, guys. So underneath these is going to be a little shadow. So even the guys in the back you can hit. With a little bit of a shadow. And then I soften it with my finger. And then this guy in the back, he's going to get a little bit of a shadow. Just a light, light, light dusting. Not anything major. Very soft. Very light. 
Okay, grab some more of that, work my way up. So now we have this guy. So underneath his fluffers, he's going to get a shadow. Right? Underneath his fluffers is a shadow. And then I just soften with my finger. Make sure your finger's clean or has the same color on it. Okay, and I'm just going to come in here and I'm just going to soften this all out with my perfect blending tool. This is the best blending tool ever. <laughs> and I need a little more right in here because that's like a big, bigger arch. A little more right in there. Soften with my finger. Okay, and <laughs> you didn't miss it. <laughs> He's kind of missed it, but I'm still going, so you can watch now. And then we're getting into our bigger waves. So now if you notice, I'm, I'm going like this, and I'm holding my brush like this. So it's the top of the brush has the paint on it. And then the side has just a little bit. Your fingers are different colors by the time you're done painting. Me too. That's a sign of a true audience. A true audience. A true artist. Okay? And then I'm going to go even lighter where the sun pieces are coming through. I'm going to go even lighter where the sun pieces are coming through. Okay? And then I'm going to wipe off my brush. And we're going to zigzag zoom. We're going to zigzag zoom. Right to soften that all out because this is a this is a big deal. So we got a zigzag zoom, and I have to add a touch of water to my brush because it's dry. So if it's not zigzag zooming for you, if it's not softening for you, just add a microscopic amount of water to your brush, and you can get it to soften. All right. Okay, so now under here, it's kind of like a purple color. So we got to make that darker. So I'm going to swirl tap dab my brush. And we're going to turn around and grab um, some blue and some red. So grab some red that doesn't have yellow in it. And some blue. And I'm going to do a little smash smash. A lot more red because that's really dark. Let's come over here. There we go. There we go. See that? See that? Nice. And I'm going to spin my brush, get the excess paint out. I'm going to wipe it off. And then I'm going to put the tip of my brush in here. And I'm going to do the size zigzag zooms. I have a black and white waterfall scene that you painted with paper towels. And I get a lot of... Com oh, that's really... Yeah, right? The techniques, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. doesn't have to be. Any, and I'm going to um, zigzag zoom this. Here, there, not everywhere because it's really dark. Okay. Maybe a couple more big pieces there. Very soft, soft, soft touch. If you notice, I didn't grab any more paint. We're not grabbing any more paint. And I'm going to zigzag zoom this before it dries on me. So we're going to zigzag zoom this piece. We're going to zigzag zoom this. Lots of zigzag zooming. Okay, and grab a little more paint, just a tiny amount. I'm going to come in here. And then you see where this is like the pink is right there? So I'm going to grab the smallest amount of this dark color because I don't want to lose that little pink spot okay so the smallest amount so again everything is small 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 amounts of paint just a little bit of paint all right so I'm gonna grab my medium brush and I'm gonna do the fluffers that are on the beach I have to grab more white paint Okay, guys, so you're all hanging out with me. You're all zoning out. You're all having a good time. Just watching Eve work, work her little tail off here. <laughs> Checking out what's going on. <laughs> all right, clean white paint. Now we're cooking with butter. Oh, yeah, 6,000%. Okay, so dab, dab, dab. 
and the fluff that hits the beach, okay? So, again, back here, light touch. I'm not doing anything, um, I'm not doing anything crazy here. It's not rocket science. It's just swooping and swirling and smushing white paint around. That's all I'm doing. So, if you notice, I went all the way across. I didn't grab any more paint. And now I'm just coming back the other way. Okay? And you don't want to lose that dark line that we put in before. See that? You want to make sure you don't lose that dark line that we put in before. And Tina B still doing the background. I love it. I like it a lot. <laughs> so, we're going to come in here and add some more. Grab a little bit more white paint. Smushing it around. So, lots of smushing, a little bit of paint, light, light, light touches. Make sure you don't cover up what you uh, put in, your dark areas and your pretty colors that might be popping through. Because when you spread white like this, nice and thin, without having to work for it, you get all those colors in your fluff because they're coming through behind the white. All right, so you don't want to lose those colors that are in the fluff. And now I'm going to add, just like I did with the cloud, I'm going to add my bright spots to my waves. So we have this guy up here splashing. So you can do this a couple of different ways. I'll show you a couple of different ways to do this. You can do like we did with the clouds, just do swoopy, swoopy things like that. And here they are not everywhere. Okay, and I see, see how I left spots in there not covered you want that all right so you can do the swoops like that and then you can bring them down you can bring this down past your shadowing to make it like it's crashing over okay now i'm just going to swoop a couple more like this okay so you can do that you can also do, da, 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 grabbing some more white paint, dabbing it off. You can also do crashes upwards, which is just flicks. So you go right where this meets that, and you're just going to flick upwards. And you can have your waves going upwards. So I'm starting where that shadow is, and I'm going to flick upwards. And you can have that happen. Okay, so there's lots of little ways to do this. And you could just do the soft little fluffs again. Okay, make sure you don't lose that shadow line. And you can, like I said, you want to grab small amounts of paint because you can always add more. You can't take it away. Okay, so you can always add more. I need a shadow under this piece. Um, you can't take it away. All right, so the big guy in the front, we're going to do him now. Okay, so I'm going to do my swirls. Okay, nice and soft. Not overworking it. Come in here. And you can do these in whatever direction you want. Water changes direction all the time. So and I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna do uh, let's do another little splash up, flick that upwards like that, and I gotta get the uh, the white that's underneath that. So, and that's it. Now, now honestly, you're just building on top of what you um, you already painted in place for yourself. You're just giving it that pop of the white okay and you just want to make sure you don't wind up painting over stuff that you want to come through okay and every time you see me leave the canvas i'm grabbing more paint okay so every time you see me leave the canvas i am grabbing more paint because this is a building thing. This is a um, layering thing. This isn't a put it on and you're done project. This is layering and layering and layering. 
you know, getting your bright spots, having your darker spots, having your colors still come through, having um, all these little fun movements going on. Movements. There's another word I say like a cow. Movements. <laughs> so that's what that's all about. All right, now to do the bottom one. And like I said, every time I move my brush and very light, um, I'm grabbing more paint. And I'm just building on what I already put in place for myself. Bonnie says she switched from oil to acrylics. And the space thing you had to learn was layering. And I've helped you understand that tremendously. Well, thank you so much, Bonnie. And it's the truth. And if you want, like, a nice bright spot to hit, right, when you first fill your brush up, you can give a little press. Press a little harder and see how I got that bright piece right there. So it's also in how much you're pressing. And how, you should not have carpal tunnel by the time you finish this. This is very, 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 very light touches. Very light. And if you notice, after I put it on... Going back over it, I'm adding, I'm going like this around the edges to get those fluffy parts right there. So I'm going around what I put on already with no paint on my brush and creating those fluffy areas. And say I want a nice bright spot, I'm going to grab some more paint and I'm going to press a little harder. And then you get a bright spot and then you can go on either side of that. Finish taking the paint off your brush, and then you go back to that bright spot, and you just do sweeps over it to soften it out. To soften it out. Okay. So, I've got two things left to show you, and we're going to be all done. This one spot without a shadow is bothering me, so I'm going to add that, all, that in. If you guys have any questions for me on anything, now is the time to ask me. Um, because there's two things left to show you and we're going to be all set. So I got to put the shadow in over here. See, I missed it right there. And, um, it's bothering me. <laughs> zigzag zooming. That's all I'm doing is zigzag zooming. Okay. And, um, the next thing we need is you want some very, uh, you want to thin out your white paint. What you guys know how to do, you want to turn around and uh, add a little bit of water to it. Just a little bit at a time. Just a little bit at a time. You're going to add water to your white paint and you're going to take tiny. Or if you have Mr. Nifty, Mr. Nifty will work better. Maybe a big rock in the corner with the water splashing off of it. Yes, yeah, so you can add whatever little pieces you want to add. I did a video on rocks. It's pretty, right? So, and it's not that hard to do. And it's really soft and easy and something you can just zone out to. So, if you have Mr. Nifties, I give them away for free. Whoever sends support. So, just to let you guys know, I have Cash App, PayPal, Venmo. The PayPal link is on this video. I don't have the stars fixed yet. I don't know what they're doing. And, um... I'm going to post the links when I end the video. So thank you everybody for your support. And I send out the Mr. Nifty's for free. I just sent out a bunch of them. So very exciting. I have a very wet brush here. I'm going to add some water to my white. So it's very loose. See how it's goopy? See that goop? See, see the goop going on? All right. So I want to add water to that. So I just dip my brush in some water. And I'm going to smush that around and curl my brush. And now it's not going to be as goopy. Okay? So you want it nice and loose and thin and happy, happy, happy. See how thin that is now? See that? Oh, could help if I was in the camera. Here, see how thin that is? Okay, that's what you want. So I'm going to wipe my brush off. And I'm going to take this nice, loose, thin paint. This, um, this tiny has a little bit left to be desired. Okay. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to add those puddles in. So I'm kind of doing a zigzag motion and we're going to add a puddle in, right? Those little puddles that they leave behind. 
Okay, and then I'm going to come in here and um, add some more lines through it. Now, you can get really in-depth with these things, adding colors, adding shadows, adding all sorts of stuff. Um, so, I mean, it looks cool. We're going to add a little bit of shadow to this, not much. But, uh, you know, it's whatever your personal preference is. And you just add some more inside of it. And I'm just wiggling back and just wiggle it just a little bit. Wiggle it just a little bit. So you can add as many of these or as little as those as you want. I think I'm going to stop there. Oh, maybe some more on this side. What? Why not? Right? We're doing it. Let's do it. Right? So I'm going to add a little more over here. Okay. And I'm just wiggling my brush back and forth. All I'm doing and then adding some pieces inside of it. That's it. That's all we're doing. Okay. And then you want to do that in your waves too. You want water. I don't know. I call them water veins. I don't know what to call them. But that's what I call them. So basically you want to follow the direction that your, your wave's going in. Right. So these curls are going this way. So my wave is going to be going like that. And you want to put in these little, I don't know, I call them little veins. I don't know what else to call them, but they're like water, just little water uh, fluffies that are in there. And then where it finishes off, I just kind of dab it around so it becomes part of the wave that's in there. And then I kind of just hit it with my finger to soften it. So you want to add those in, and you add those in the direction that your wave is going in. Okay, so here's another spot here. So I'm going to put this in going this way, right? And you don't have to make it straight. Maybe a little piece is coming off that one. And then I just dab with my finger to soften where it met. Okay, and uh, I don't know. I, I guess they're called, I don't know what they're called. To tell you the truth, I don't know if there's a technical word or not. But um, they're in there. They're in water, whatever they are. <laughs> they are, they're in water, whatever they're called, they're in water. Okay, so you want to make sure you add those into your water as well. And the next thing I want to show you is I'm going to turn around and take that small fluffy brush that we were working with. Because when I smash it, when I smash it, Veins sounds better than me calling them water dribbles. <laughs> I like that too. So when I smash this brush, I get all these little spiky pieces. See these little pieces up here hanging out that are like not part of a big bushy part. It's just little spikies sticking up. I'm going to put white paint just on those spikies, that loose thin white paint that we made before. So I'm going to hit that. And I'm going to make sure it's just on those little spiky pieces, not in the um, whole bushy part of the brush. Okay. And what you're going to do with this is you're going to add the splashes. So, and I'm just tapping. I'm just going to tap these little splash dots. So those ones that are, are splashing upward, 6,000%, these guys... These guys get them. So you just want to add these little splash dots onto your water, okay? And you can do this with a small, and, and once I add like the bulk of them, and notice I'm following the direction of the wave. I'm following that curve all the way through, okay? So you want to follow those curves all the way through. And once I turn around and put the bulk of them, and now I want to add an extra little fluffy part in here with my white. We're going to have that stand out a little bit more. Okay, so, and you, ha you add these here, there, not everywhere. Wherever you want to do these little dots, they're fun too. Okay, so I'm going to come over here and add some in here. 
on the water that's hitting the beach. I'm going to add some more smushy areas. So now you're kind of just finishing up and you're playing. And you're just having some fun with it. And I'm just grabbing that thin paint and I'm dab dabbing wherever I think those little water little things are going to splash up. That's all I'm doing. And then if I want to add another bold pop of white, I'm going to add the bold pop of white onto the wave to make it stand out a little more. And, um, you know, here they're not everywhere. I have fun with these things. So, you know, <laughs> sometimes, uh, thank you so much, Lisa V. You know, sometimes uh, I go a little nutty, but that's okay. And I'm going to add them over here on this one that's in the background, this guy. Add some more uh, white. And maybe uh, some right here. Okay. So, there's only two things for me left to do. Um, I'm going to put the shadow on the um, water dribbles. <laughs> as Bonnie likes to call them. And I'm going to turn around and um, show you my dots with the detail brush. And now I'm just kind of fluffing some extra bold white pieces on here just because I have the white on this brush. And I'm just adding some more, another layer to it. So what you want to do is I'm going to turn around and grab... Um, I'm going to grab Tiny, and I'm going to swirl tap dab him, and my beach color, remember I said hold on to your beach color, or make extra, so I actually have some in this little corner right here, I'm going to grab that, and I'm going to grab some black, and I'm going to do a little smash smash, I'm going to roll, roll my brush in that, and I'm going to come to where I put this on the beach, and underneath it, that's not dark enough. Okay, so I'm just going to grab some black just for you guys can see it. So underneath that, you want to put a shadow. Okay, and then you can bring it out a little bit because, you know, the sand will get wet by this thing. So underneath those pieces, you're going to put a shadow. And like I said, you can bring that shadow into the beach area here. Soften it out a little bit. Because that's where the beach is going to get the darker color from it being wet. Okay, so I'm just adding this dark underneath that line. And then I'm going to soften it out. Okay, and you do this to the whole thing. And you do this to the whole thing. So I'm going to come over here and add it in here. And I am just doing very light back and forth. A little bit of paint on my brush. A little bit of pressure as the paint runs out. Because I'm going to soften this. So it's okay if it comes out a little smushy. That don't matter. You just want to make sure you stay under that line. And then you want to do the ones on the inside too. You want to do the ones that are in here. You want to do darker pieces on those as well. Very light, light, light touch. And you can kind of smush it around and do a little zigzag zoom action like this. Okay. And you just feed this in. And maybe there's even a darker shadow going on right there. Soften it out. Okay. And um, so let's do the rest of those. And then I'll show you the dots with the detail brush. And you guys are going to be all set. So I hope uh, this was helpful. And I hope that you guys learned a lot. Um, I like it a lot. I think these are fun. This is a fun exercise just to zone out to. And to have fun with. Don't stress it. Like I said, it's a lot of blending, um, so make sure you have uh, good paint to do the blending with. Okay, and I'm just adding some more shadow in here, zigzag zooming, little bits underneath the wave pieces, here and there. 
just little shadows okay so what I do once I add that bulk of dots I'll show you right here so you guys can see it and then we'll be all set I won't show you me doing it on the whole thing so I'm going to swirl tap dab that tiny brush and I'm going to grab my white paint and we're going to turn around and where I did the bulk of the dots now I'm just going to go in and I'm going to put in some money pieces I'm just going to put in some money pieces that's what I call them like these little tiny details that are really pronounced and again follow the motion of your water all right and you just add these little money pieces in on the big guy in the center right so maybe add some extra little swoops in there okay you can add some extra little swoops in there All right so add some of that and then I'm gonna do my dots and I'm going to make sure I follow the motion of the water. The paint was kind of thick, so I just dabbed it off. That's what I did, because the paint was a little thick. So I'm going to add these little money pieces of dots. Just like that. Maybe add a couple, a little other little splash up. There we go. All right, guys. So... You're all set. Um, Sunset Ocean, there it is. You guys can do this. I know you can. So I hope uh, you had fun. And I hope that you learned some stuff. If you're ever painting and you have any questions, 6,000%, just message me. I'd like to welcome Dawn, Madison, Valerie, and Casey, new to the fam. Welcome, ladies. And all of my peeps, love you all. Remember, free to watch, but um, tips are appreciated. You guys keep me with the art supplies and you keep my lights on. So that's Venmo, Cash App, and PayPal. Oh, my sign, Bonnie, reminds me of my sign all the time. <laughs> There's my sign, Bonnie. And uh, I'm going to post links to that. <laughs> See, I knew you were going to say it, Bonnie. I beat you to it. So, um, yeah, there you have it. And, um, I can post the links after the video onto the feed, so I'll do that. And I, the links are also in my comment section. And if there's ever anything that you've seen me paint that you like, or any of the paintings that I do for the tutorials, they're all for sale. And I can customize them, and you guys will get a family discount. So, I just want to throw that out there, because Mother's Day is coming up. So, it might be a nice present for somebody. So, you are so welcome, Carolyn, and you are so welcome, Bonnie. Thank you, fam, so much for joining me. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, everybody, for joining me tonight. Nice, easy-peasy, lemon-squeezy. If you'd like the brush sets, just uh, message me for now to order a brush set. And, uh, yeah, so Friday. Friday's going to be Ocean and Cherry Blossoms. Thank you so much, Tina M. You're the bomb. And uh, Tina M. shares, share, shares, and shares, and shares. She is my top sharer, and that helps, too. So if money is not your thing right now, totally understandable. You can share my videos, and that is very, 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 very supportive also. So, keep that in mind, too. Hitting that shit, take that extra step to hit that share button is a big help. So, love you all. And on that note, I'm going to say goodnight. So, thank you so much for joining me. Y'all warm my heart. Have fun and go create, okay? Mwah. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Thank you, Bonnie.